Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. Uh -uh, anime Social. <laughs> Movie Social. <laughs> we are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. What's up today, good people? Today's episode, we're going to be doing episode two of Fire Force. Yeah, I know, we're still a week behind. Technically, but we actually caught up now. Episode three has not yet dropped in the dub formation, so... Yeah, that's We're going to uh, do that once it gets released, but until then, episode two, which... Had a lot going on. Yes, it did. You want to kick us off? So, all right. So after the failed photo shoot, uh, <laughs> still one of the most funniest things in the world. After they failed photo shoot, Shimmer is going to, uh, I think it was Fire Station 5, to uh, meet up with the captain there because the captain knows a little bit. Was it 4 or 5? It was 4 or 5. I don't remember. But he was going there to... Um, Find out about the Adola burst um, and the Adola links. Wants to learn more. And yeah, to learn more about it. And lo and behold, he's seen some of the people that he was training there with, some old friends, some new friends, whatever the case may be. So, um, it started off kind of slow, but it picked up as Shinra became possessed. Now you go ahead and, and <laughs> talk about that whole. <laughs> Possession. That whole possession was wild. First of all, you have the captain for Company 4 want him to uh, hit me with the adult first. I want to fill it. <laughs> he wants to fill like, it. You know, uh, he, he's kind of feeling like he's a little uh, obsessed, obsessed yes. and a little chaotic. All of it. Yeah. He, he was feeling a whole bunch of stuff at the moment for that. But eventually they catch on and find out that uh, Shinra is possessed. And a few other members of the company... Might have been possessed as well for the moment, but Shinra kicks them for a second and knocks them out of their issues or whatever possession. But Shinra is still possessed by one of the uh, spirits that it's funny the evangelists actually want and are actually trying to cut down and capture themselves. Yeah. But they, they were like, okay, we'll let it play out because both of the people that we want are there together. Mm -hmm. She's possessing him. But little do we know, we have the night. Yeah, his homeboy from uh, Company 8 comes there. And, yo, the fight scene in this one mm -hmm. was dope. I mean, normally you don't get a great fight scene this early on in the season. But to have that fight scene with um, uh, the two guys from Company 8, Shinra, I can't even remember his name off the top of my tongue right here. But I'm just keep going. Shinra and... and like he wants to be called. Called, the, yeah, the, uh, the, the... What do you want to call it? Something Night, right? Yeah. Something night, and he he just he just whoops Shindra's ass because he doesn't like he said he um, even said when you're when you're on that whole you want to be a hero stick we're neck and neck but when you're on this whole I'm gonna wreck everything type thing I'm way better than you his name is Arthur yeah King Arthur. that's his name King Arthur or the Knight Arthur or whatever and Arthur is digging in his ass paws no hold he is giving him the business, and uh, he gets Shinra out of the um, he gets Shinra out of the um, being, from being possessed. We're going to talk about how that whole conversation while he was possessed that he was actually having. I mean, it was wild because Shinra one was contemplating back and forth with himself. You, you can see the multi personality type of moment going on there. Yeah, it reminded me a bit of a uh, split in the moment, <laughs> switching back and forth between personalities. Some trying to fight the uh, possession. At the same time, I'm giving into possession. Yeah. And then Arthur telling him, you got to snap out of it, this and that. And the third, this is not how you act and this and that. You are crazy and annoying, but you normally don't be smiling like this. Because, I mean, yes, Shinra has a weird smile. And it only happens when he gets nervous. That or he's about to actually use his uh, dolor burst. Yeah. Or now as being possessed. Yeah. But uh, Shinra almost went full force with his... Uh, a dollar bird, yes. his, his uh, kick. Yeah. But it, all in all, the episode was great. It was amazing. Great episode. Um, it's going to divulge a little bit deeper. The next episode is going to divulge a little bit deeper because she stated something about his mother, um, the person or the demon who possessed him, mm -hmm. um, as well as there is Possibly a new... sister. Yeah, they said something about a new Adola uh, burst. Not Adola burst. Uh, someone Do who... Link. Yeah, a, a new Adola link for someone who has a Adola burst is being mm -hmm. not born, but like, yeah, you could essentially be, say being born because you can be 
a certain age, and then that power inside of you, or whatever case, can be activated. Mm -hmm. So they now they're going to be on the hunt for this person because now you have the evangelist that's going to be looking for these people, for this person, and then you have the um, company, and the company's going to be looking for them. I have a I have a guest who I may think it is. Who? It may be that his friend. Which who's? Um, Shimra. I can't say the black guy because I don't know if he's black or not. But you get what I'm saying. Nah, I think it's gonna be one of one of the company members that's a firefighter that actually has no powers. But you have to have powers though. No, it does. It just never manifested. Oh, okay. So they never had any powers and they didn't never knew about. It. But I think it's gonna be him. I think it's gonna be the front. And I feel like he's gonna go like he's gonna transfer to Company Eight and stuff like that. I feel like it's gonna be. Who knows? Maybe right. We'll see. We definitely will see. Um, I mean, and also by the way, I didn't say it in our review of Episode One. Thank you guys for switching that uh, intro music back to something I could have sworn you did this garbage. It. If I did, I, oh well. But at least the intro music was better this time. Yeah, man, and unfortunately, Funimation, they're the simulcast, um, or the simuldub, simulcast, simuldub, however you want to call it, um, they're having issues with the pandemic, so season, I'm mean, not season, episode three is out in, in, uh, sub, I mean, man, Rick here doesn't like sub, so we go with the dub, yeah, I'm not doing and, um, uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna say we're gonna go on hiatus with, uh, Fire Force, but when they come up with their uh, episodes, which we, they're going to announce on Twitter, I'm going to be following that, um, so we can know exactly when they come up. We'll definitely shoot our review. But until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to join the family. Yeah, but uh, Funimation, please, uh, whatever equipment that you have in office, grab that equipment and bring it home. Because it makes no sense during the pandemic. You still are limited at home. When modern 2020, it's modern century. Like, come on. Technology is everywhere. You can do everything in the office and at home except for physical things. I guess you can. Whatever. But until next time, peace. See y'all.